hands together for Mr. Ashcan. What we're going to talk about is how to get your mind right, how to change your mindset in order to get your money right, right? Because I think that a lot of times we live in a world where people are telling you what you should be, how you should do it, and what you should do, right? But at the end of the day, when you when you wake up in the morning, you're waking up with yourself only. When you go to sleep, you're with yourself. When you die, you're going to die by yourself, right? So a lot of times we spend so much energy trying to impress people that don't even matter. It's about being confident. It's about understanding that success is whatever you say it is, right? It's not what other people say. It's what you say, right? It's what you are content with. I became a vice president at 24 years old. I managed four branches at J.P. Morgan Chase. I managed two branches in the Bronx, two big branches in Westchester County, and it was all because I stopped listening to what people say to me. Because I think that we do too much of a good job of listening to people that haven't been where we've been, where, where we want to go. Right? We take relationship advice from people who are not in successful relationships. We take money advice from people who are broke. Like, how does that make sense? And, and at 30 years old, I'm 31 now actually, right? At 30 years old, the intuition, the voice said, quit. I need you to quit. I need you to go because I have a bigger purpose for you. I said, what are you, crazy? I have a mortgage. I have a daughter to take care of. What, how am I going to do this? Right? But you have to believe in yourself, though. You have to have faith, right? Faith is not faith until it's the only thing you're holding on to. So you can't say that you believe in yourself and you believe in your abilities and you're trying to be safe. So I had a dream of becoming an author. I had a dream of you know speaking and becoming an entrepreneur and, and, and doing business consulting, things of that nature, because I ran banks for people and I saw how much money I was making for them. And I said, I, they weren't giving me a 10% of that. Whatever you believe in, that's your reality, right? That word reality is, is, is defined by experience. That's all it is. So if your parent is telling you something and they're saying this is the reality, life is hard, right? Life is hard because that was their reality. That's what they experienced. On average, people who win the lottery, they lose their money within five years, right? They go back to the same state. The reason for that is because they still have the same habits. So if you don't know how to manage $20,000, when you make a million dollars, you're not gonna automatically become a finance whiz. But as you start making more money, now you want a Maybach. Now you want a Bugatti, right? So you still have the same habits, but now it's just more expensive. The world is set up for people to break you down. So if you allow them to, they will. And it's not their fault either, right? Because we, we, we love to call people haters. We love to do that, right? But nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. People are going to use you if you allow yourself to be used. So that's why it's very important that you believe in yourself. And that's the first law and that's the first principle I always talk about. When, as it relates to getting money, you have to be self-confident. I don't have business cards, but I'm with the technology, right? So if you have your phone and if you text Ask Ash Cash, to 55469 is gonna give you my all my information. Really great, it was very educational, very eye-opening, and I think it's um, an essential learning workshop for college students. Hello, my name is Jose, I'm an alumni brother of La Uyana Athena, Lambda Uso, Lambda Quaternion Corporation. I have to say I'm highly grateful for Ash Cash coming over here, and I'm entertained, not mostly entertained, but giving these guys knowledge. And I'm, the one thing I got in this program is knowledge is not power, it's potential power.